Hey, what is up you guys? Today's video, I am super excited to reveal the mystery of who is the Nico Bellic killer. Now, when I mean Nico Bellic killer, I mean who took out Nico Bellic. That is right. So, let me go ahead and give you guys a demonstration. As you can see, I'm in the airfield. Just, you know, just Trevor's airfield, basically. But... What I'm going to do is take you back to the bar that we discovered a few weeks ago, or last week, or whatever it was. But we're going back to that bar, and we're going to recapture everything that we saw, and combine it together, and we're going to solve the mystery of Nico Bellic. So, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you guys to subscribe. We're trying to get 300 subscribers before end of 2023. So wait, wait for it. Get subscribing. And yeah, let's solve this mystery together. There it is, guys. Yellow jacket. Now, I would rather say that this is the bar that Nico Bellic really owns it before he has been taken out. Because Rockstar Games actually confirmed it 10 years ago that he was already been dead. So he's already dead. But we're going to see who took out Nico Bellic in the first place. So, let's go inside a bar. So, as you can see, like I said in the previous video, you can see his jacket is already hanged for, you know, when he come in, he hangs up his jacket. He goes, as a bartender, he goes around the back of the bar. You know, he serves someone. He serves a beer, whiskey, whatever. But someone got a little bit angry of him and, he, and someone punched him in the face and he got blood he put his hands right there trying to grab something but he walked over here he put his hand right there and he put his hand right there trying to get something like a knife or a butcher knife but you can see his hand plant is right as blood but he didn't grab anything unfortunately so he, he walked out and he sat down and he fell and trying to go back and you can see there's a lot of blood blood stains all over the floor. He tries to gr open the door but fortunately the door was locked and then after that he just got taken out straight away. And he could be hiding somewhere. Now he's not hiding under the table fortunately. No. So let's go back and remind you that he, he basically got taken out in this bar. But he's been taken out before. But if we go to his house, I guarantee you that if we can find his house, which we already did last week, so we're going to combine all this once and for all, and that we can solve this mystery together. Okay, guys, I found Nico Bugs' house. Now, you can already see why he's not home because he's already been taken out. So, let me go ahead and quickly explain. That this is his house. That dart right there, that's from Yellow Jacket, and that is the same dart as we saw earlier that day. But if you go around this table, you'll notice that there's a one poster of Nico Bell. He was wanted for something from basically an FIB wanted poster, and you can see there's a, you know, a po uh, poker game cards. But once we take around. You can see there's a grave sitting outside of his house. The shovel and a barrel. Now, this is basically sad because Rockstar Games haven't confirmed, but they already confirmed it already 10 years ago that he's already been dead. So, if we can find him in GTA 5, we might as well find him. But, unfortunately, he's nowhere to be found. Like, he's somewhere around the area, but if you guys want to find him, I recommend doing so. But, I want to tell you guys something, that all of these ideas have become so true, that I've read so many comments, that you guys may just blow my mind. So, I will reveal, in just in 10 seconds, I want you guys to know, which character in GTA 5 has taken out Nico Bullock from GTA 4, let me know right now in the comment section below and I will read it in just in 10 seconds. 
I count ten. We're going to reveal the GTA 5 character who took out Nico Belk from GTA 4. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the comment that I've read from earlier, from last week, that you guys have been telling me, and his name. From GTA 5, his name is Trevor Phillips. You guys have been telling me this, that Trevor Phillips was the one who actually took out Nico Bellic, if you guys already know it, because this idea was about him. And basically, he got pretty annoyed about Nico Bellic. So he basically come in here, and go to a bar, took him out, bury him in his own, you know, house and back of his home and he tried living in a trailer and you know nowhere to be found so yeah so Trevor was the actual person who actually took out Nico Bellic way before we all know it all because he took out because Nico Bellic was the one who actually thought it was well Roman thought it was a good idea to be at the bar but fortunately Trevor Foots like no nah, I don't want him at my bar so he took him out, he buried him in his home, but it wasn't actually in his home, in his house, but he was actually buried him in his, you know, grave. Because, you know, Trevor Phillips is a crazy person after all, but once that, you know, that he was the only person who actually took him out, and everything was changed. Rockstar Games have 100% confirmed that Trevor Phillips was the only one behind this that Nico Bellic was already been taken out because of Trevor Phillips. Now, if you guys would know that in behind of that, you know, the loading screen, if you guys already seen the loading screen, you guys know that Trevor Phillips has blood all over his, you know, his knuckles. Because, basically, he took out somebody. Now, I would preview it to show it, but I don't think I got time for it. But if you guys want to see it, I recommend doing so. But I think that's a big reveal for today. But that's so shockingly that I thought it was, you know, somebody from uh, just a random person in GTA. Not the protagonist. But I think Trevor Field was the only person who would be a protagonist and antagonist at the same time. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to join the GD Nation Zone by subscribing. It's totally free. We're trying to get 300, 300 subscribers. So what are you waiting for? Get subscribing. It's totally free. You do not you do not have to miss like this every single day. If there's anything else you want me to see me do in GTA 5 or our content, let me know your thoughts in below, down below. And your ideas might make it to another video. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.